everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about invisible bead extensions and curly hair. What to do if you want extensions, but you have a really tight curl pattern. You basically have two options. So my client here today really likes to wear her hair straight most of the time, but naturally she has a really tight curl pattern. Um, but again, about 90% of the time she's wearing it straight. So I wanted to talk to you today about your options. So part one today, we're going to talk about if you have curly hair, but you want to wear extensions and you mainly wear it straight, this is kind of the things to think about. So she gets a keratin straightening treatment done about every five months. So this is similar to like a Brazilian blowout, any kind of a straightening treatment. Um, and again, she chooses to do this because she wears her hair straight, doesn't want to fight the curl with her extension. We are putting in one row of IVE today. She does not have any extensions in right now, but we're putting those in for thickness to kind of fill in the fronts um, and give her a strong weight line towards the bottom. So I just wanted to talk to you about what to expect if you do wear IVE with curly hair. So one of the questions we get asked a lot is, as it starts to grow out, what happens to that root? You know, if she has naturally wavy hair, it starts to grow out, is it going to get matted? Is it gonna get bunched? What's gonna happen? Well, I can tell you the good news is with IVE, nothing's gonna happen. That root is going to come in, she's gonna have that strong curl pattern, but because of the way that we install our row, the way that we stitch that row, it's continually attached to the head all the way around. So there's no room for her curly hair to kind of get wadded up and come through the row and get matted, like a lot of other beaded row extension methods that we see. So with IVE, it really is the best extension method for curly hair because of its really clean and precise application. So what she would do is when she's ready to redo her keratin or her Brazilian blowout, whatever her choice is for that straightening treatment, she just take that row out, smooth everything, put that row right back in, she's good to go. Okay, so I have her sectioned out for her bottom row. And we're actually, we just switched it, you guys. We're doing two rows. We decided we're just gonna be extra today. We're just gonna at least give her the option to be extra. So we're doing two rows. This is the bottom row. I just had a little tip, a stylist tip. As you're installing on textured hair, a lot of times I recommend using like a, a spray bottle or something on straight hair. Not for textured hair. You don't wanna do that because water activates the curl. So you just wanna have like a weightless hairspray. Um, I just grabbed my Jacqueline weightless hairspray and this is what I'm using. You don't want anything super heavy or sticky, but this is what you wanna do. Instead of using water, you and your client will thank you. Off. So this is probably about like a 14 and a half, 15 inch extension install. Again, two rows and she is ready to go. So, so beautiful. I have to let you in on a secret. We didn't even tone this. This is just what it looks like, y'all. So you do have options. Again, if you do have textured hair, you can either use that keratin treatment, straighten it out. You can wear IVE with curly or textured hair, 100%. She's about ready to do it, and she's just gonna have to get that move up in about six weeks. So, see you then, and again, please like, subscribe, share, all the things.